Well, welcome to what is regarded as the finest private garden in all of China. This is known as the Humble Administrator's Garden. It dates from about 1522, and it's a gigantic garden. It's over five hectares of garden. And we're in Suzhou, which is sort of about 100 kilometers out of Shanghai. These gardens are extraordinary. Again, for us in Australia, it's a little bit difficult to understand a lot of it, but there are four basic elements to the gardens, rocks, water, buildings and plants. Everything is symbolic. Many of the rocks and their placements symbolize mountains and perhaps sacred areas of the wilderness of China. The water symbolizes oceans or lakes. The buildings I find fascinating. The buildings are all pavilions. They could have built one huge building complex in the middle, such as they did in most of Europe, castles or palaces or whatever. Not here. It's isolated buildings which fit into an overall landscape. And the whole thing is planned so you can move around it, go to particular areas, and as you move, you have covered walkways. It's a civilized walk around, and you have areas where you can go and contemplate, because in the Asian garden, both China and Japan in particular, metaphysics and philosophy join with nature, and you sit here and you rediscover yourself, the meaning of life, yin and yang. All of these things are all brought together in a whole experience of life. It's not like an Australian garden where it just looks pretty. This is very complex, very much rooted in their culture, and very, very, very symbolic. You will notice that many of these bridges across the water are actually zigzagged. Now, there's several reasons for it. The main reason they quote is that evil spirits can only go in a straight line. So if you zigzag the path, then evil spirits can't come into your house. I suppose also that marauding armies or whatever would have trouble running across this, particularly at night when the lights are out. We've said many times on Burke's Backyard that garden rooms are so important. Dividing one section from another makes the garden far more usable. And when you divide an area, gateways between them are so important. Look at this cracker of a one here. This is your classic moon gate. As you change your angle, it frames things. And whether we're just conditioned or not, I don't know, but framing makes things look so much more beautiful. But you should think about building a gate like that to divide sections. Great idea. This area here is known as the Hall of the Mandarin Duck, and in case you're wondering why, look down there. 36 of them, little mandarin ducks, probably the world's most beautiful duck. There are some of these in Australia, the ones we have are not very fertile, they don't breed much at all, but uh, there they are, the world's most beautiful duck, kept at 36, apparently the number is important. Next, uh, this is the seat where you have to sit to get your photo taken. Well, that's it for the humble administrator's garden. This is, as I said, considered the finest private garden in China. As you can see, there's lots of people here. Just have a look at all the people behind the camera right now. Mitch, just, just have a look at them all. There they are, all are, look. Millions of people, that's just one side. They're everywhere. Now, the good thing and the reason they're sitting here, you might notice in the background there's a pagoda. That's one of those cake looking buildings in the background right back there and it's not actually on this property it's it's part of the borrowed landscape and this is a very sensitive garden everything's constructed very very carefully so that they maximize all the views all the vistas and there you are that doesn't belong to them but it looks like it does because it's in the background beautiful thing the humble administrator's garden one of the great gardens of the world <laughs>